So even though we spent a long time on the border, Kyle really didn't spare anything for this trip. Uh, he even had the seats filled on the van so that we could help as many people as possible. And while we were waiting all those hours, I had the opportunity to meet a woman whose brother was part of the Ukrainian army and had died. She was going back to Coruscant. In fact, the funeral is today. She's going back to bury her brother. And I could tell she was very upset. And I kind of gathered these, you know, people were whispering uh, about her situation. I'd realized what had happened. And so uh, there wasn't really an opportunity to talk to her at first when the travel was going smooth. But once we got stopped at the border, there was hours and hours to spend getting to know the people who were in the van with me. And so I had an opportunity to really speak to her and just kind of get the sense of where her head was at, whether or not she had any faith in Christ, whether or not uh, she was able to process what was happening and how she was coping. And in the end, I had the opportunity to share the gospel with her. She did have a connection to the Baptist church in Coruscant, but it sounded like she hadn't spent a lot of time there lately. And I kind of led the conversation by saying, maybe, maybe it's a good time to get reconnected to God and to the church. And I shared my own story of loss and grief after losing Amy. And when we'd finished speaking about it, I could tell that God had helped us make a connection. And so we had a really um, special moment. And if we hadn't been stopped at the border, probably wouldn't have been able to have that conversation. So God is even using the time spent waiting as an opportunity to speak to others and to share the good news of Jesus.